Francis here from TYT Sports, happy to be on Real Galacticos and let's discuss Real Madrid. How can they break down this infrastructure that Atletico Madrid have upheld this season, their best defensive record in La Liga? What can Real Madrid do? Let's talk some tactics. So really quick, as I highlighted on the Atletico Madrid uh, clip as well, you can win a fantastic pair of Cristiano Ronaldo headphones. All you have to do is follow the, 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 the directions or the instructions in the description below, which means follow me on Instagram. And uh, follow me on Twitter and follow on TYT Sports and liking the post, which will be on my Instagram. And automatically enter yourself in for a chance of winning the Rock by Ronaldo Monster Headphones. You cannot complain. So this is a lineup that Real Madrid, I think, will go with in this game. Uh, Navas, of course, what a season Navas has had. He was the man that was just deemed as the second choice. Ah, we didn't get the hair. We'll take Navas. Well, my God, what a accident he turned out to be. Phenomenal goalkeeper. And at the back, Carvajal, Pepe, Ramos, Marcelo. Big job for them to try and stop the counter-attacking football of Griezmann and Torres. I will discuss that. The most important player for Real Madrid defensively. I'm not going to say overall because I still think that Ronaldo will have a crucial role to play in this game. Casemiro. My God, did they miss him when he was not there against them in February. They were isolated at the back. He is an important player in this team. Modric and Cruz in the middle of the park. Bale, what a season he's had as well. Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo. So, typical tactics fashion, we talk about the defensive nature first of Real Madrid, what they have to do to make sure that they do not concede, and then we'll talk about things going forward. So let's talk about the role of one man. I highlighted him in El Clasico Tactics. You can take that, and you can go and watch it. Casemiro. So, Casemiro's job in this game is to just simply be excellent at patrolling. He needs to be, as I've talked about before, he needs to be the best protection. He needs to be the best condom for this Real Madrid team. And what he's going to have to do is he's going to have to be well aware of this man here, Griezmann. I talked about it in Atletico. Griezmann's grow is going to try to drag out Ramos. So this is going to go between Ramos and Casemiro. Griezmann's going to check in here. And if Casemiro wasn't there, this is Modric and Cruz, which has happened before, is they're caught too high up the park. So what happens? All this space forms. Ramos steps out, leaves the room for Torres to make the running behind, leaves the room for Koke to make the running behind, and the gaps emerge. But when Casemiro comes in, he, this man's job is simply to play as that anchor and cause the problem. So if he just simply stays put, you're going to see Griezmann come in here. Casemiro can simply take him because Atletico did not flood forward Gabi and Fernandez. You're not going to see them making all these runs in behind where Casemiro is going to be caught between. His job is to pick up Griezmann, cause that problem in there, and then Ramos can stay, can stay tight. He can drag Marcelo in with them, and if they move over, he can drag across Pepe to make sure that there's no gaps forming because what you see from Sergio Ramos is that rush of blood to head is often a problem. He will get booked. That is something that's just almost instinctive in Sergio Ramos's game. Along with that dodgy haircut, he's going to try and dive in. He can't do that. Casemiro needs to ensure, as he did with Lionel Messi, is simply just to pick him up in this area. And even if he forces him to go back, Griezmann will find a way to pick up the ball. He might pick it up in here, but if he moves it out wide, if he moves it back the way, that's job well done for Casemiro. What you don't want him to do is to play this one-two and move in behind you, because that's what Griezmann loves to do with Torres. They're very in sync at the moment, and Casemiro's job is just to patrol on them, my friend. So you have your work cut out from you, and you are going to be the crucial factor. I know there may be other instances where uh, Real Madrid have to be a little bit more shored up defensively, but this man... Mark my words, he will be the reason whether or not Real Madrid win or lose this Champions League final. So going forward, Real Madrid have versatility in attack. They have people who can shoot from distance. They have Benzema, the fox in the box. But one thing that they will come up against, which everyone knows, is there's going to be a moment in this game, I can assure you so, where Atletico Madrid will go ahead. I, I, it might not happen and I might just be made to look like an idiot, but let's take, for instance, it does. Hypothetical situation. What happens then is you're going to see Atletico Madrid do this. Bang, cleared, bang, cleared, bang, cleared. It happened, oh, you're not going anywhere, cleared. It happens so often that even the likes of Bayern Munich with all of their attacking strength just huff and puff and could not get enough goals into the, the back of the net to push them through. And Atletico Madrid walked to the Champions League final after discarding Barcelona and Bayern Munich. So what is the answer here? The answer is you have to be... Uh, you have to be open to adjustment. You cannot simply get the ball wide, shoot from distance, and then hope that one of them is going to go in. And Real Madrid happen to have some talented players, and it's all about that versatility. I'm going to highlight the goal which Bayern Munich did score. It wasn't the free kick from Xabi Alonso from distance, but it did go along with that nature. Jimenez is a little bit hot-headed, very similar to Ramos. He likes to dive in. He likes to win that challenge that gets him the picture from the spotlight. There's my dodgy haircut as well. I'll win the tackle, and everyone will, will shout my name. 
Not if you get if you happen to move yourself out of position, my friend. So for the goal against Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich scored against uh, Atletico Madrid, allow me to take you back. Here's what happened. So the ball found its way out wide, and you're thinking, okay, well, why is this significant, Francis? Well, it was because Thomas Muller made this run from the right-hand side right across, and he took Jimenez, who was a little bit too hasty to follow his run, out of position. That two steps in there, what did it do? It, everything in football has a butterfly effect. Every player has to react to his teammates' moves. So Godin moves across into this area, tries to make sure that he's right close to him and his because centre-backs have to be together. So then Philip Luis tucks in a little bit more so than he would rather. But there was more of a gap in there than they would have liked. There's a gap between Godin and Philip Luis, and there's a gap between uh, Godin and him and his. And he doesn't like that. Godin likes to play on the shoulder of his fellow centre-back. That's when he is at his best. So then what happens is you see Lewandowski makes this run right here. And he takes Godin just a little bit further. And that isolates Philip Luis in this area. And at that point, it's Kingsley Coleman and Vidal who bomb into the back post. And they get the ball right into the back. And he's isolated one-on-one. -on -one. And what does Godin do? He tries to support his friend. And then Jimenez, all because he followed the run that he maybe could have passed on, leaves a little bit of a gap in here. The ball gets headed back across. And Lewandowski doesn't put it wide. He puts it right into the back of the net. And it's that slight versatility in their movement, that run which Gareth Bale can absolutely make. Gareth Bale can make the run across and come in behind Benzema and cause a problem. Or Cristiano Ronaldo can go and wander on the right-hand side. But they cannot stick to their strategic positions. They, Ronaldo can't always be on the left. He did it against Barcelona. He made that, diag that diagonal run from the right-hand side right in behind to the left-hand side, and it caused problems. And Gareth Bale was able to be isolated one-on-one -on because -one, let's not beat around the bush here. Gareth Bale... Attacking the ball in the air is one of the best in the world at the moment. He's fast, he's strong, he's great with the ball at his feet. But Gareth Bale can win, I would say, at least 80% of his aerial battles, especially against Philip Luis. So why not? Why not have Gareth Bale start on the right-hand side and make this run in behind and try and isolate Philip Luis? But it all has to work in sync with Benzema making a run, with Cristiano Ronaldo making a run, and just enough movement in behind to cause enough of a disruption for them not to all be in sync. Because... You can get the ball out wide and you can launch it into the box. But unless you're moving in there, Godin and Jimenez and Luis will just eat that up because they are comfortable in the chaos. I say this all the time in tactical terms. Comfortable. Hit me. I am just a massive wall and I'll just put that ball away. There is no problem because once I go a goal up, there's no stopping me. I will be able to withstand any bit of pressure that you have. So it's all about that versatility. And if they're able to do that on a regular basis, Real Madrid may find some success. But we want to know what you guys think. That's just a brief tactical outlook on both Real Madrid and I did the one on Atletico Madrid. You can check that out. And as a typical fashion, I, I gave a prediction on the Atletico uh, clip, but I'm not going to change my mind here. Despite all this, I still think Atletico come away uh, avenging that horrible loss that they suffered against Real Madrid. The 4-1. They were seconds away before Ramos headed it into the bottom corner and forced it into extra time. And then Ronaldo and Benzema just added to the misery. But who will win this game? Atletico Madrid. 2-1 victory for me, uh, for the Atleti. And I think Diego Simeone will cement himself as the manager of the season. Hit me in the comment section below. All the good stuff about winning those Ronaldo headphones will be in the description as well. You do not want to miss that opportunity. Come on. Free Ronaldo headphones. They are wireless. They are Bluetooth. They are amazing. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. And you may win them. Like that post. I'll speak to you guys soon.